Hello. Now that we've studied about molarity, molality, mass percentage, and mole fraction, we and we have solved numericals on each, it's now time to solve a few problems on molality. I intend to solve three problems today. Let's start with the first one straight away. The density of a three molar solution of sodium chloride is 1.25 grams per milliliters. You have to calculate the molality. Focus here, it is L, not R. It's molality of the solution. The molality of a solution is defined as the number of moles of solute present in a kg of the solvent, not the solution. Number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of the solvent is the molarity of that solution. So what would the equation be? The equation is molality is equal to number of moles of solute divided by the uh, mass of the solvent in kilograms. So this is a triangle that we can make which makes calculations very easy and you always arrive at the right uh, formula that is to be used depending on what has been asked in the question. For example, if you've been asked here in this triangle, the horizontal line means its division and the vertical line means these two have to be multiplied. So molality is equal to moles upon kilograms, moles of solute upon kilograms of the solvent. If you're asked, whatever you asked, you should cover that portion. For example, you've been asked the molality. So molality would be moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. If you're asked the mass of the solvent in kilograms, you will write it would be moles of the solute divided by the molality will give you the kilograms of the, of the solvent. If you're asked the moles, number of moles of the solute, then you will cover this and your answer would be molality into the mass of the solvent in kilograms will give you the number of moles. So this is how you can use a triangle to make your, to understand what are you supposed to do to arrive at your answer. In our question, we've been asked to calculate molality, which means we have to cover this and our intention is to find out the number of moles of solute and the mass of the solvent in kgs. But we have neither been given the number, we have been given the number of moles of the solute, but the volume, it, we've been told that it's a three molar solution, which means that it's the solution in liters which is given to us, that there are three moles of solute, which is the solute, sodium chloride, which is present in one liter of the solution. And solution is made up by, this is the sum of the solute and the solvent. But we are interested in finding out the mass of the solvent. So how do we arrive at this? We've been provided with an additional information, which is the density of the solution, which is, help, which is going to help us to come to the kilograms of solvent. Let us see how to do this. Sodium chloride, what is the molar mass of sodium chloride? In the first step, let us try and find out what is the mass of sodium chloride which is present in a three molar solution. We know the volume of a three molar solution would be one liter. Three molar means there are three moles of sodium chloride present in one liter of the solution. So let us start with the information we have. Three molar sodium chloride, sodium has a mass of 23 and chlorine has a mass of 35.5. So the mass of sodium chloride should be 58.5. So it's a three molar solution. So what is the mass of mass of sodium chloride in the solution in 1000 milliliters is one one liter of the solution since this has been given to us in milliliters i have written 1000 ml so the mass of sodium chloride that is 58 point 58.5 in 1000 ml this is the mass of one mole but we have three moles, so how much would it be? It would be 58.5 into three. How much is the molar mass of sodium chloride present? It would be 175.175.5 grams of sodium chloride is present in one liter of the solution. Now, 
Our next step is to find out the kilograms. We have been given the density of the solution. So we know that one milliliter of what is density? Density is mass per unit volume. The mass given is 1.25 grams is the mass of the solution. Of how much solution? One milliliter. And how much is one liter? One liter is 1000 milliliters. Therefore, this mass is of one ml. So if the mass, mass of solution, mass of one milliliter of solution is equal to 1.25 grams. So what would be the mass of 1000 milliliters? Do you get me? We are trying to find out the mass of 1000 milliliters of the solution. Of solution would be equal to multiply this by 1000. So how much would it be? 1.25 into 1000 grams, which would be equal to 1250, isn't it? Yeah grams. Now we know the mass of the solution and we know the mass of the solute which is present. So what are we supposed to do? We can arrive at the mass of the solvent. How? By subtracting this from this. If you subtract the mass of the solute from the solution, you will get the mass of the solvent. So mass of solvent that is water, mass of solvent water would be equal to 1250 grams minus 175.5 grams will give us the mass of the solute. This would come out to be 1074, 1074.5 grams would be the mass of the solute. Now that we have arrived, what, what did we require? What was our requirement for using this formula? Molality is equal to the number of moles of solute. What is the number of moles of solute? Three moles. And what is the mass that we want? The mass of the solvent. So we knew three moles is present in, 100, is in 1250 grams of the solution, out of which 1074.5 is the mass of the solvent. So let us substitute it here. M would be equal to the number of moles is 3 divided by the mass of the 1074.5. I should be writing it down here, but it's my video, so my rules. So uh, I'm doing it, bringing it up here. So molality is equal to 3 moles, 3 moles, and what is this? This is the grams. So instead of grams, we want the mass in kilograms. If we want it in kilograms, what will we do? Convert it, use the conversion factor. One gram is a thousand, thousand grams make one kilogram. So this will go down three points here. So it will be 1074.1.0745 kilograms. Right? So this would be in moles per kilogram, the molality. And how, when you calculate this, what do you get? You get 2.79 molal. 2.79 molal solution is the molality of this solution. Easy? Let us now move to the next problem. So the next question is, what is the mass of methanol, which is CH3OH, what, sorry, what mass of methanol is required to be dissolved in 8 kilograms of water to produce a 2 molal solution? Now we've been given the kilograms of the, sol of the solvent, which is water, and 2 molal, we've been given the molality, and the kilograms have been given to us, and we have to calculate the mass of methanol. Although we've been asked the mass of methanol, we first use this equation and calculate the number of moles of methanol. And from the number of moles of methanol, we'll calculate the mass. So let's do that. Cover the part which you have to find out. We have to find out the number of moles. If we have to find out the number of moles, what do we do? Multiply molality and the kilograms. So moles, number of moles would be equal to molality given to us is 2. 
2.00 into 8.00 2.00 molar and 8.00 kilograms so what is the number of moles that you will get you will get 16 moles right we got 16 moles of methanol now from the moles of methanol we need to calculate what is the mass of 16 moles of methanol the mass of one mole of methanol if we calculate it and we multiply it with 16 moles we get the mass of 16 moles of methanol easy so the mass of to calculate the mass of one mole we need to calculate the molar mass CH3OH carbon is 12 plus hydrogen there are four hydrogens so there will be four and the mass of one hydrogen is one plus oxygen is 16 so if you calculate this this comes to be 32 so we have the mass of molar mass of mass number of moles is equal to mass upon molar mass so mass would be equal to mass would be equal to the number of moles into the molar mass the number of moles is 16 and molar mass comes to be 32 so 16 into 32 will give you the mass in will give you the mass in grams it will give you because this is this is calculated in grams so it will give you the mass in grams which would be equal to 512 grams 512 grams of CH3OH methanol is present in a 2 molal solution of 8 kg of water right so now the next question is that the chloroform contamination level in drinking water is 15 parts per million you have to express this in percent by mass and you have to determine the molality of chloroform in water let us first see what is parts per million per million means 10 to a million is 10 to the power 6 and percent means per 100 so the first part let's solve it that in 10 to the power 6 parts the how many parts of 10 to the power 6 parts is chloroform chloroform by the way is chcl3 so 10 to the power 6 parts of water of the solution chcl3 is how much is only 15 parts right if you have 10 to the power 6 parts of the water sample then out of which chcl3 is only 15 parts so in a hundred parts for mass percentage in one it will be upon 10 to the power 6 and in a hundred it will be into a hundred right so this would be equal to one point if you calculate this this would be equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 percent if you calculate this you will get this as 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 percent that was the first part of the question the second part says that you have to determine the molality of chloroform in water for molality, you have to find out the number of moles of chloroform and the mass of the solvent in kilograms. Let us now find out the number of, in 100, we know that if we convert this instead of the parts, if we take it as grams, if we had 100 grams of the solution, how much of it would be, how many grams of chloroform would be present in it? 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 grams of chloroform would be present in 100 grams of the solution because this is parts per million means that in these many parts, these many parts are present. So in 100 grams, 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 grams of chloroform would be present. Therefore, in 1 liter, that is in 1000 grams, how much would be present? In 1000 grams, 100 grams is this much, so in 1000 grams it will be 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 upon 100 into 1000, although you could easily have just added one zero to it. 
So this would come down to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 grams. So in a thousand grams, it would be 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 grams. Now we know the mass and what is molality? Molality is number of moles. From the mass, we have to calculate the number of moles. Though mass moles is equal to the mass upon the molar mass. We have to calculate the molar mass it means. CHCl3 carbon is to calculate molar mass. Mass is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 grams and molar mass of chloroform is 12 for carbon plus hydrogen is 1 plus 3 into 35.5 which is chlorine. This would be equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 grams upon 119.5 grams per mole which would be equal to 0 0.0125 into 10 to the power minus 2 moles right this is the number of moles present in 1000 grams of the solution but what was the mass of the solute in 1000 grams of the solution the mass was 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 grams Therefore, when you subtract this from 1000 grams, do you know how much would you get? You would get 999.985 grams of water. Which means when you talk of parts per million, the solute is almost negligent and therefore we neglect the mass and hence the number of moles that you have in 1000 grams would be equal to the molality which is we assume that the mass of the water should be 1 kg so the molality and number of moles here we consider them to be equal this particular question is the 17th question of the ncrt textbook exercise so these were some numericals on molality i hope you keep practicing and keep returning to my channel for more thank you for watching